Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a Squid Game inspired red light, green light game using Unreal Engine. Let's dive right into it. Setting up the project. First things first, let's open Unreal Engine and create a new project. Here, I'm selecting third person as the template, but you can also go with first person depending on your preference. For this tutorial, I'll be using the third person template. Name your project, choose a location, and click create. Once Unreal Engine opens up, you'll see the default third person environment. We don't need this, so let's start by setting up our level. Go to file new level, and select basic to create a clean slate. Now we've got a fresh starting point. Building the playground. Next, let's set up the ground. Click to deselect the default items and scale your level in the X, Y, and Z axes as per your preference. I'll adjust it to fit the playground vibe I'm going for. If you want, you can customize it to your liking. Now, let's add some geometry to our scene. I'm going to use a basic cube for the ground and playground structure. This is just a rough layout for now, so no need for anything fancy. Once you've placed the cubes, feel free to duplicate them and adjust the layout to match the game's style. Now, let's make things look a bit more realistic by adding materials. Head over to the content browser, then go to starter content materials. In there, you'll find the rock sandstone material. Select it and drag it onto the ground to apply the material. This will give us a nice, natural texture for the playground. Once the material is applied, feel free to adjust the texture scale or other settings to suit your project. This should give you a solid base for your environment. Let's now create a material for the walls. In the content browser, create a new folder called materials. Next, import the image I provided for the wall texture. Once it's imported, right-click on the image and select Create Material. This will automatically create a new material using the texture. Double-click on the material to open the Material Editor. In the Material tab, add a texture coordinate node by right-clicking in the graph and searching for Texture Coordinate. To adjust the texture scaling, select the Texture Coordinate node and set both the X and Y values to 0.1. This will scale the texture to match the wall size correctly. Once you're happy with the setup, hit apply to save the material, and now you can apply it to your walls. Adding the doll. Now, let's bring in the main character, the doll. I got my doll model from Sketchfab, and I'll be providing a link in the description if you want to use it as well. You can use any model you prefer, though. Once imported, we need to combine the doll's body and head into one model. Select both parts and merge them, then name them accordingly. Next, we'll create a new blueprint class. Select actor and name it BP underscore doll. Open it up and you'll see an empty actor. Let's add two static meshes, one for the body and one for the head. Drag the body into the mesh section and do the same for the head. Blueprint logic event graph. Now, let's set up the logic for the doll. Head over to the event graph. In the BP underscore doll, you'll want to delete the default nodes and start fresh. 1. Event Begin Play The logic starts with Event Begin Play, where a play sound 2D node plays the squid game sounds. A random float in range node generates random intervals, which are fed into a set timer by event node to trigger the custom event red light named periodically. 2. Flip Flop Logic Inside red light named, a flip flop node alternates between two states, A. Red light, and B. Green light. When A is triggered, red light, a boolean variable red light is set to true, which starts a timeline that rotates the character's head to 180 degrees. When B is triggered, green light, red light is set to false, the timeline is reversed, and the character's head is reset to its normal position. 3. Movement check and timer event. A secondary timer checks if red light is true and verifies whether the character is moving. If the player is moving, they'll die. To do this, in the BP underscore third person character, create a custom event called die. This event will play a gunshot sound effect and trigger the death animation for the player. We'll also disable player input and simulate physics for the death effect. 
safe zone logic. Next, let's add a safe zone. In Unreal Engine 5 Blueprints, I added a box collision to the safe zone. When the character overlaps with the box, the can die boolean in the third person character blueprint is set to false, preventing the character from dying. When the character exits the box, overlap ends, the boolean is set back to true, allowing the character to die outside the safe zone. Okay, now let's test it out. When I start moving, the doll turns her head, and if I stop moving, nothing happens. But as soon as I start moving during red light, I'm dead. The safe zone works as expected, I'm safe inside the zone and can move freely without dying. Feel free to add some additional effects, like screen blur or visual effects, to make the game more exciting and immersive. And don't forget to save your work. Conclusion And that's it. You've now successfully created the red light, green light game from Squid Game and Unreal Engine. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you're excited to add your own twist to the game. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.